Outdoor Adventures. Greetings all, Chook here from Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Well, I promised myself that I wouldn't do any more fear mongering and, you know, red alert, we're having an ammo shortage type videos, but I am concerned uh, with some of the trends and I have been trying to keep my finger on the pulse of the ammo supply, at least here in Alaska. And I do wanna share some things that I've learned from some of my connections, which is simply the FFL, many of you know who I go through through my FFL and uh, his distributors. So he kind of keeps me updated about what his distributors are saying. Of course, we've seen the, the price hikes in 2024. Who knows what's going to happen in election year and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, it has been coming down the pike that we may have some shortages. There was the change of hands of different companies. And uh, what's interesting is we have not personally really seen the shortages because I've been told stores have really been stocking up, but that it will be coming this summer. And what shows that is, is what he, uh, it was worse a few months ago when distributors uh, were not having any 223, 556. They still had tons of 9mm that you can order, but the, the 223, uh, supposedly because of the war in Ukraine and other issues and supply chains, started drying up a little. However, we didn't notice anything, at least here in Alaska, because many of the stores have really stocked up and they had a vast inventory, so to speak, in the back. But you did see a lot of the stuff dry up, except for more of the expensive stuff. It came back in stock. Now, uh, nobody knows. Uh, some of the distributors are guessing that we're going to see a shortage this summer. Um, some are saying we're just fine, but it's really interesting. I do want to read this message that he forwarded me along. Of course, I'm not going to give away his source, but this was he was asking a distributor uh, about this, and I'm going to read you this message because I find it very interesting. It talks about specific uh, supplies of the raw material in, that's used to make ammunition. So this is my buddy's buddy, that is a distributor. News from SHOT Show 2024. I just got home from four days in Las Vegas at the SHOT Show where I met with the people from the factories we work with, factory salespeople, factory, factory directors and owners, importers, etc. The big point of discussion seems to be shortness and supply for nitrocellulose, which is the raw material used to make gunpowder and other propellants and explosives. Based on these conversations, the issues seem to be based on two factors, decreased availability in the supply chain and increased demand for the manufacturing of military ordnance. Getting into the details and a little more, a huge percentage of the nitrocellulose used to make gunpowder historically claim from China and Russia. However, according to my conversations with industry partners, the Chinese manufacturers, who historically were the biggest suppliers at over 30% of the market share, are no longer willing to ship raw nitrocellulose cellulose to the USA or NATO member countries in an attempt to reduce the USA and NATO's ability to supply Ukrainian forces with artillery, sh artillery shells. And of course, Russia, who historically was the second biggest supplier, is out of the supply chain as well. Naturally, that would be true. This decrease in supply and raw material has gunpowder manufacturers in the USA raising prices dramatically and cutting off many of the smaller ammo manufacturers. The second part of this issue is the demand for military ordnance, like 155 millimeter artillery shells that use huge quantities of gunpowder propellants and the gunpowder manufacturers switching production to this type of gunpowder with what supply of nitrocellulose they do get. The first reason is that they always put the U.S. government's needs before those of the commercial market. And the second reason is that simply much more profitable to manufacture military ordnance than small camera caliber ammunition. In conclusion, while most of the factories seem to have gunpowder stockpiled today, this issue is expected to catch up to them no later than the summer of 2024 and possibly within a few months. And when it does, it will mean the factories will be capable of producing much less small caliber ammunition to sell to the U.S. commercial market. If demand for ammo is low 
to moderate, you may not see a big change. But if demand were to go way up, as it does periodically, the factories will not be able to ramp up capacity to fill that demand. In my opinion, a lot could go wrong in the commercial ammo supply chain in 2024, and it would be wise to stock up sooner than later as 2024 price increases have just started to set in on a handful of select items so far, and availability is still good, which has held prices down temporarily. So the price hikes are coming, and we have seen some of the 556, at least from the screenshots of distributor availability, uh, kind of dry up a little bit. So I don't want to spend panic. I don't believe in panic buying. Buy ammo as you normally do, which you should be doing regularly. What I like to do every paycheck, buy a couple boxes, and that way, before you know it, as time goes by, you've actually stocked up quite a lot, just buying little amount here and there when you can. So I think part of the issue is our economy is down. Uh, ever since the pandemic, people started doing a little bit of panic buying um, and they, people just don't have the money to continue to panic buy and just, you know, go crazy and fill up their carts at these ammo shops. So I think that they still have a supply that they've saved up and the shelves are not completely dry yet because uh, people aren't just buying a lot right now. But within a few months, possibly, we may see some of this stuff dry up. So let me know what you think. Buy ammo as you normally do. Uh, make smart choices. And I will have a Banshee versus Strybog 10 millimeter video up in the morning tomorrow. So thanks guys for tuning in. It's Chuke, your friend in the field. Shoot out adventures! Why don't you almost die every time?